Good morning, Nystrom. Happy Monday to you. I hope you had a great weekend. I hope you're ready to go for another great week of distance learning. And most importantly, I hope you're safe and healthy. Before we jump in, I wanted to take a moment and circle back to the events of last week. If you remember back, we talked about it some in Thursday's morning announcements. You may have also talked about it at home a little bit, or you may have also talked about it in class. And all of that is great. And it's okay if you still have questions, if you're, st if you're still a little confused about what happened. Many adults are still in that same situation. Now, what you're going to see today is actually from a kindergarten teacher somewhere else in the country. And what she did was take the events of last summer during the Black Lives Matter protests. If you remember, there were a lot of protests throughout the country, including many here in the Bay Area, around Black Lives Matter. And some of the pictures you're about to see are from those. And then what she did is she puts those next to pictures from what happened on Wednesday. Now, we cannot call what happened on Wednesday a protest. That was not a protest. But putting those two events together, she's going to ask, what's the difference? When you look at the two pictures, what do you see? What do you notice that is different? So take a look at this video, and then afterwards, you will have access to a Jamboard where you can share some of the differences that you see. I don't know about you, but I found that an incredibly powerful video. Amazing what just seeing a couple of pictures can make you think. And really, all of that was just in exactly one minute. 60 seconds really crystallized a lot. So now I encourage you, I took snapshots of just the first five slides and put them on a Jamboard. I know it says Padlet, sorry, typo. But uh, your teachers have the Jamboard link. You can also use the QR code here. And I would love for you to put a sticky on each of the five slides about what you see as the difference between each of the pictures. Be thoughtful, be respectful, but really this is a time to look at these pictures and do a little notice, noticing and wondering. What do you see as the difference? So would love to see some of your thoughtful responses. Hope to share those later this week. On a much, much lighter note, I have an incredibly hard riddle. I honestly don't know if you can get this one. Okay? Couldn't even figure out a clue to give you. But what is next in this sequence? J F M A M J J A S O N dot dot dot. The one clue I'll give you one more letter. One more letter can uh, completes this really random string of letters, and they do have a meaning. All right, best of luck. I will promise you an easier riddle on Tuesday, but wanted to start off the week with a bang, because this one's hard. Good luck. That is it for today. Remember those four Bs. Be responsible, be respectful, be safe, and be honest. Have a great day or not. The choice is yours.